few minutes. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks, John. Well, a Wauwatosa teenager is accused of plotting to plant bombs at his school. He was making the bombs in his room and even had plans drawn up. Yona Gavino reports live from Wauwatosa. Yona. Mike and Carol, a student reported the bomb threat two weeks ago, but we just got our hands on this 58-page police report. As you can see, it's very long, very detailed, but we do know at one point the student told police he thought he could kill between 100 and 500 people and still get out of jail when he was 18. It's what everyone hopes would happen. Someone overhears students talking about a plot to bomb the school and tells the principal. I don't think we can protect our kids from everything. We certainly need to be protective, but we also need to make them responsible. In this case, that person may have saved a lot of lives. The police report shows the student didn't just write a threat on the wall. They talked about it in school and sent each other text messages like this. Could you really make stuff? Yes, but I can only make a small bomb. And this, just, I want to hurt people. I don't know why. Is this about the bomb again? That's not good. One of the students made gunpowder in his room. He also did lots of research on the internet about how to make bombs, the Sandy Hook shooting and the Boston bombings. He wanted to see if he could make a bomb bigger than the one in Boston and planned to set off a homemade bomb in a nearby park. The school did send out a letter notifying parents. The parent we talked to says he and his family feel safe. Now, that student who did make the homemade gunpowder in his bedroom also cooked up some homemade napalm. But what we don't know right now is what happened to these students. See, I called a lot of folks today, but no one returned my calls. So I don't know exactly if these if these students were arrested or if they were even charged with a crime. But we will keep digging and we'll have more information on this story tonight on Live at 10. Live in Wauwatosa, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Yeah, with all those details, you'd have to think they're taking it seriously. Thanks, Yona. By the way, parents at Tosa East asked us to investigate this case because the school district and police hadn't told them anything. If you see something that doesn't seem right, send your tips to TMJ4.com slash iTeam. You ask we investigate. New at six is a triple murder that's been a cold case.